Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're doing a review of the Force Demon. Um, we have done an unboxing and a demonstration video, but not an actual review of itself. So I'm going to go ahead and <coughs> take a look at the box first. The box is actually fairly big. I'm about six feet, and the box is like up to my hips. But um, it is a rather large animatronic. Now, I love the design of this, this box here. I think it's really cool looking. I think they did a great job on it. Uh, the bottom down here says, Beware to those who try to trespass past the forest demon. Swiftly pops up over those daring to cross him. He stands over six feet tall with poseable arms and wings, has piercing yellow eyes, and speaks four demonic phrases, infrared or step pad activated. Now this guy is fucking massive. Now I have him at full height. In my room I had him at half because of how um, large he is, and the ceiling is a lot lower in my room, and obviously I have a lot more items in there, so I had his arms condensed closer to each other. I have them spread out here. Same with the wings. The wings I don't have them spread out as far as they go, but I have them spread out further than what they were. And he is literally massive. <laughs> and he jumps up even taller. That's the crazy part. Um, now, I literally just a few minutes ago had problems with mine. Not anything mechanically, but internally it stopped working on an adapter so right now i have four double a batteries in it which this thing will just eat through batteries halloween night so um i will fix the adapter jack um it's not the adapter it's the adapter jack itself so i'll fix that when i get a chance probably tonight um so i'm gonna go ahead and turn them on um his face is really sick looking i love how it's like the classic demon uh, devil look he's got the goat's eyes the, the goat horns and the beard i think he's really neat looking now the mouth movement on the force demons in general just sucks some are a lot worse than others mine's actually not too bad um i don't know if the springs in it are bad that it doesn't retract the mouth all the way closed or what that it hangs open so the mouth on mine isn't actually that bad i'm really i really can't complain about it but on some of them i've seen it like barely move so which kind of sucks. The clothes down here are kind of just plain, but that's all right because you're looking at him in general anyway. So let me go ahead and turn him on. Um, we're going to go underneath the fabric here. And as you can see, those are the AA batteries I have in him. Since he um, doesn't work on the adapter anymore, which I need to fix. He does have that infrared sensor, which actually senses pretty uh, far away. So I don't know if it's better to have the light off or the light on. We'll keep it on. Looks like you get a better look at him. I came here for the souls of children, but I'll gladly take yours too. <laughs> Now, I didn't pay the full 250 for this. I don't think I'd ever pay that. Um, I actually paid 170 with the discount. So if you guys have a coupon or something you could use to get this. Actually, right now he's on sale for 200 bucks. So now would be your chance to go to Spear and get him because 250 is a little bit overpriced. Um, especially, you know, the company Crazy Great that makes him is not known for having... Okay, what I was saying, Crazy Crate is not known for having the best quality, so. But he's really not that bad, to be honest. I mean, his motor's loud, but it's unfortunately that's what it is. Um, if yours sounds like that, it doesn't mean it's breaking. It's just how it is. The more you use it, the quieter the motor will get. It will never get super quiet. It's always going to be loud, but I notice when you first get him, the motor is super noisy. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.